You're listening to Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick in association with Wexford Insurances. Challenge us at Wexford Insurances, 0818 31 30 30. I'm now joined in studio by Brendan Ennis, the CEO of Innovation Wexford. Brendan, you chaired the business conference in the Wexford Spiegel tent last Thursday. You might start by telling me how this event came about, please. Well, the conference is the brainchild, really, of Brian Byrne from Luminate Event Management, uh, together with uh, Barry and David Ennis from Ennis Promotions. And uh, the three guys got together, and my understanding is that they decided that we're going to bring the Spiegel tent to Exford and we're going to fill a gap in the market that they saw for a new experience for uh, people of Exford and tourists uh, during the festival. Brian's idea was that the tent should not only be an entertainment tent, but also it should be for educational and business purposes. And he approached ourselves and the Enterprise Board to see would we like to become involved in relation to running a business conference during one of the days of the festival. And as we say, that event took place last Thursday and we saw an eclectic mix of entrepreneurs come together to provide their voices of experience. Now, who spoke on the day? Uh, we had a great mix of, of people on the day. Carl, uh, Bill Kelly from, obviously from Kelly's Hotel, uh, Fred Carlson from Dundale, Aidan Quigley, uh, the new owners of Loftus Hall, uh, Paul McNeve, uh, a fabulous innovative speaker, a motivational speaker, um, from Dublin. Uh, also then we had Professor Kevin Whelan from uh, Notre Dame University we had Michael McLaughlin CEO of Connect Ireland and then we had Wexford's own Michael Laundrie lead singer in Riverdance and many other um, successes under his belt all talking on sometimes on completely different sectors but all business based and all sharing their experience with Wexford's business community Brennan, the reason I've asked you to come in this morning is to give us a synopsis of what was spoken about on the day. Let's start off with Bill Kelly. What were his nuggets of advice for the business owners and entrepreneurs that were there attending the event? Bill, as you know, is a fabulous character um, and very generous with his advice and his experience. Uh, really, he, he touched on maybe five or six main points, all of them based around how important the customer is, but also about innovation and how reinventing his own business on a continuing basis is vital. And without that, he says, they simply would not succeed. Another great point that Bill made was Wexford as a location. Many times people see this as a disadvantage, whereas Bill saw it as an advantage. He spoke about how we were strategically located between the two largest cities in the country and how Wexford is well versed and well positioned to be able to access markets that other parts of the country might not be able to access. A very interesting point he made was he said that he never paid wages. His customers do. Um, and that went down very well with, with, with the people in attendance because um, such a true statement has never been made. So his customers and his customer satisfaction and loyalty really are the things that pay his wages. The next speaker was Fred Carlson. Now, Fred has been on the show with me only in the last number of weeks and during which he told us about his journey to success. I know he took a slightly different approach in terms of what he spoke about last Thursday. It was more in the, in the region of innovation and that. What did he have to say today? Fred, number one, he's a great speaker and he's a great communicator. But he chose, he chose this event to speak about overcoming adversaries. And you could look at Dundee, and we all do, and it's a fabulous success. But it wasn't always like that. When Fred and Geraldine started the business in late 2005, they went through many sleepless nights. And Fred basically looked at the challenges that they've had as building the business on the day and how they actually overcame those challenges. And he links it all to one thing, which is just innovative thinking. And that innovative thinking, Fred says, is really born in listening, understanding, and accepting the needs and the wishes of their clients and customers. He also spoke, which is very interesting for the times we're living at the moment, about the whole development to mobile. And not so much away from internet-based products, but in tandem with them. And he gave a statistic that at the moment about 30% of their traffic comes from mobile devices, whereas in 12 months' time he expects that to be 50%. And he made the point that any of us in business that use the web or online communication, we need to embrace that, that 
most things now are going mobile. And he made the point that in another 12 months, whereas at the moment the, his website side would develop first, that in 12 to 24 months, what will happen is the mobile side will develop and then the website will trail the mobile side. So that was the, uh, that was a very interesting insight into not only an online business, but what Fred says should be for all businesses. Brendan, the next speaker on the day was Professor Kevin Whelan from Notre Dame University. What did he input on the day itself? Kevin's input on the day was really to look at, uh, he was in session two, and that was really to look at um, how Wexford could exploit international markets and the best way in to do that. And he started off by looking back at Wexford's past. And he spoke about how Wexford as a society and as a community have always been very entrepreneurial. And he attributed that to a number of factors. He attributed it to the fact that uh, if you take a compass and actually stick it into Wexford, we're really surrounded by more than 60% of water. Um, around the circumference of it. So the, our location and our distance say, to, our, to the main si- uh, cities of Dublin and Cork back 20, 30 years ago was not accessible as you are now. But by its nature then, Wexford people had to be entrepreneurial because we didn't have the comfort of having a major city next door to us. So within our history... Kevin was very strong as a Wexford man himself in saying that Wexford has always had a, an entrepreneurial flair, but it also had a great flair for communication in both story writing and songwriting. And that communication helped us to build links, strong links with the USA. We already have very strong links through John Barry and through the Kennedys with the US. But Kevin made the point that really Wexford people have built very strong foundation blocks in the US. And as a director of the Notre Dame University, he was exploring ways of normal business could exploit those, uh, that to their advantage. Brendan, we then heard from Michael McLaughlin, CEO of Connect Ireland. Firstly, explain to our listeners what Connect Ireland is all about, please. Connect Ireland is probably one of the most innovative concepts to come out of Ireland in the last decade. It's uh, it's a brainchild of Terry Clune from the Taxback Group. And Terry's vision from day one was always, how do we use the Irish diaspora uh, as nearly like a selling army globally to try to attract businesses back to Ireland? So Terry came up with a concept which Michael now runs on a day-to-day basis as CEO for ConnectIreland.com of how do we use our family relations, people that we know, neighbours that might be unfortunately gone abroad now to see who do they know in business that may be looking at setting up European, uh, a European branch of their business and if so, would they consider Ireland as a location? At the conference, it was about, because it was a Wexford-based conference, it was about how could that um, pay dividends for Wexford? And he made an invitation to everyone present and everyone listening to, if you know any anyone, no matter whether you think they're in business or not, write to them, email them, speak to them on the phone and tell them that there's this new scheme, Connect Ireland. It has There's a financial benefit if a job is secured from your contact. And how successful has this initiative been so far? It's a very young initiative. Um, it only was launched in March of this year and already in the pipeline of businesses that they're talking to globally, they're talking to in excess of 300 companies at the moment that have expressed an interest in discussing coming to Ireland. Part of our discussions with Michael was to make sure that as part of those 300, that Wexford gets a shot, that people look at Wexford. And that's why it's so important that Wexford people feed into the pipeline of Connect Ireland so that Wexford gets a chance, if these jobs are coming to Ireland, at least we get our fair share of them. Now, Brendan, Michael Laundre, the lead singer from Riverdance, was the final speaker on the day. Now, at first thought, it doesn't seem like an ideal fit for a business conference. But how in practice did it work out? Michael is a great character. He's a fabulous singer, but he's also a very astute business person. And what Bri- Michael brought as one of our own, uh, you know, as a native from Wexford, Michael brought a global perspective again to this part of the of the conference. He spoke about his own business, which is music. He spoke about the whole business of entertainment globally. Michael has basically travelled uh, every continent. He's played in most major cities and internationally he's a big he is a big star. 
uh, rightfully you said he was he was lead singer with Riverdance which toured the world but he's also done many many other private huge engagements and Michael brought it to his own business perspective because at the end of the day Michael is his own business and a very very successful business Michael also writes and he produces he has a production company as well so what Michael spoke about was our own I suppose inherent shyness as being a factor that sometimes discriminates against ourselves. Uh, he spoke about Ir- Irish, but also Wexford people being nearly afraid and embarrassed to say that they're good at a particular uh, topic, subject, no matter what it is. And Michael wanted people to consider that if you're trying to sell a product or service, either in Ireland or globally, and you don't believe in your own product or service that you are the best or it is the best, how is anybody else going to believe that you are the person they want to do business with? And Michael brought a completely different slant to the entire conference. And you could really see people's you know, sitting up when he was speaking because it was hitting a chord with them because every single one of us have been in that position whereby we're trying to make a sales pitch, we're trying to meet new clients and we revert into this kind of a shy, uh, domicile type of a character. And Michael's point was uh, that no longer works. Well, Brendan, you've done a great job synopsizing the afternoon conference in 10 minutes with us this morning. Uh, thank you very much for coming in and doing that. Before before I leave you go, I just want to ask you what your plans are for Tech of A 2013. Certainly Tech of A 2012 was a great success here in the Opera House in Wexford Town. Um, what are your plans for 2013? Well, the first thing to say is that there is a Tech of A 2013, which, is, uh, which, which I, I'm delighted to be able to say. 2013 conference is going to be slightly different in that it's going to be built around three pillars. Technology will and the use of technology will be one pillar. Leadership will be the second pillar. And then innovation is the third pillar. And we're going to have some global, uh, which I can't announce yet, but we're going to have some global and national, very successful entrepreneurs both male and female that are going to come in and basically give us a holistic approach to how those three pillars can help ourselves as small business owners to drive our own business forward and it's something that we're very much looking forward to. Well Brendan many thanks for dropping by this morning and providing us with an insight into last Thursday's event and I wish you every success with preparing for Tech of 8 2013. You're listening to Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick in association with Wexford Insurances. Think Wexford Insurances for your business insurance.